Children family, children family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, USC is getting ready to have a massive weekend this weekend. However, on the flip side of that, USC has a massive crystal ball, and that's coming from no other than my favorite of the 2026 quarterback, uh, 2026 class, rather, is going to be Walker Lions. Excuse me, Ryder Lions. Uh, Ryder Lions is the brother of USC tied in Walker Lions. Um, listen, Ryder Lions, you guys know, man, I'm very high on him. He's the number one quarterback in the country with the 2026 class. Um, he is going on a mission, so we can project him to be in the 2027 class. Well, come in in the 2027 year. And uh, he has to do a mission, I believe. Um, some said it's two years, but some said it's one. Um, however, I think his brother, if I'm not mistaken, just did one and supposedly he's supposed to be back, um, coming up for the workout. So if that is the case, um, USC will have Walker Lions just with, uh, one year gone, he will be able to come in in the 2027 season and it's going to be straight up go time, man. Um, Walker Lions is what you call a true dual threat quarterback. Um, one that absolutely knows how to move and groove. Um, I'm excited. I'm extremely excited about this kid. Um, he's a kid that knows how to move and groove. He's a kid that knows how to get, get it done. And um, I'm very, very excited about him, man. When I look at Walker Lions, uh, excuse me, Ryder Lions, I want to say Walker Lions, um, I say a, a pure dual threat quarterback, but he's going to put you in the mind frame of a guy like Jackson Dart. You guys know Jackson Dart came to USC, now at Ole Miss, projected to be a big-time high school contender, but this is Ryder Lions. So you guys drop those comments. Crystal Ball officially came in for Ryder Lions, and I think it's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. Now, we got a couple of news and note items we got to touch real quick, and that is with the college football playoff as well as our visitors list. Let's go. USC is getting ready to have a massive weekend and is led by no other than this guy right here, the one and only Juju Lewis. Look, it's straight up go time with him. You guys know he reaffirmed, he confirmed that he is committed 100% to USC. And as I stated before, Juju Lewis is the glue that's going to keep this class officially together. Um, so we want to make Juju happy. We want to accommodate, accommodate him to the fullest. Um, but let's take a look at the rest of the remaining class, guys that are getting ready to come on this trip let's go all right so here's the official list and uh, i believe they might be adding a few more we'll see but this is just a couple of guys um this is on three posted this up yesterday uh, but you see juju lewis number 10 overall prospect number two prospect in the country big time player um you know hopefully he may be able to get back that number one spot it always seems that when usc is in the mix um they always bump guys down he was bumped down after he committed to usc prior to that he's been number one for all all of this time um Dor dorian brew um nationally ranked number 29 cornerback in the country um he's a big time player um however he does have family Mom and dad that both were superstars, I believe, at Ohio State University. So we'll see what happens with that. At the end of the day, it's the kid's decision. Um, but here's the big one. Riley Pettyjohn, I'm very high on him. Linebacker, nationally ranked number 33 overall. And I told you guys last week that he has his top four. And uh, USC is in the mix. And I'm very excited about him because he has a relationship with Brian Jackson. Hopefully, Brian Jackson can put that recruiting hat on. He came from McKinney, Texas as well. So it's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking with him. Um, Andrew Marsh, the next one, wide receiver, nationally ranked number 61 overall. He has a relationship with Juju Lewis. And he's, can he's come before. And this is his official visit. Hopefully we can lock him in there. He's a big time receiver, maybe like a kind of like a Juju Smith, Juju Sh uh, Smith Schuster. And I think that we'll be able to move and groove with him. Now, Auburn commit. This is a nice development. Auburn commit, which is the defensive lineman, number 109th ranked player overall. Malik Autry is coming to visit USC. That is a big time player. You guys know, I mentioned this the other day, Noah McHale, linebacker, nationally ranked number 77th overall. He will be at USC out of Laverne. It's basically between Oregon, Texas A&M, USC. Those are the guys right there. Those are the teams. Um, Daley McCutcheon, he's a big time receiver out of the state of Texas, ranked number 123. Look, USC is hitting 
top 300 players left and right. This is a big time class. Um, and then heating low, Edge, nationally ranked number 214. That's the guy that's going to be there. Um, and so USC is in some good position to host these guys. Moving groove. You know they're going to be at Lincoln Riley's house. It's going to be straight up go time, only popping, only cracking. Moving on to the next. The college football playoff 2024-25 schedule has been released. You guys see it here at the first round. It's going to be Friday, December 20th. Then Saturday, December 21st. And you guys know the first round guys, they're actually going to have a bye. Um, the second round, uh, excuse me, the first round also consists of Saturday, December 21st, and Saturday, December, yeah, those are the same ones, but those are, those guys are going to have a bye, and it's going to be straight up go time as, as it relates to that. Man, if USC can somehow get a bye, and I believe those games are actually going to be at home. Um, first round guys are going to have home field advantage. Um, the quarterfinals, you see it. It's going to consist of Tuesday, December 1st, Wednesday, January 1st, and you're going to have the Fiesta Bowl, Chick-fil-A, Peach Bowl, the Rose Bowl, and then the All-State Sugar Bowl. Those are going to be the ones to host those quarterfinal playoff games. And then the semifinal games is going to be the Orange Bowl and the Cotton Bowl, um, which we can have some discussion about that because, you know, the Cotton Bowl is going to be in Dallas. The Orange Bowl is um, it's going to be... I believe it's in, um, no, that's the Sugar Bowls in Louisiana. The Orange Bowl is going to be, I want to say, it's going to be in maybe Arizona. So look, man, this is, no, the Fiesta Bowls in Arizona. I'm trying to remember what an Orange Bowl. Somebody help me in my comments. I'm lost in the sauce right now. But this is the, what the playoff is going to consist of. Um, and you guys know the fifth team, which is more likely going to be a team like Notre Dame, they're going to be the ones that's in the, the fifth seed spot. So they're going to have to play. Uh, whatever the number one seed is. So that's the that's what the playoff is going to consist of. This is what, how it's going to move and groove. Man, you guys drop those comments in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. This is the playoff schedule. Until later on, listen, I'm out of here. Everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.